Hello everyone and welcome to some more Pokemon TCG Live content. Today I am playing my Hisuian Litigant V-Star deck. The idea behind this deck is that Hisuian Litigant V-Star has very good stats for a grass type Pokemon. It has 260 HP, which is hard for Charizard to KO. It does 230 damage, which KOs Charizard, hits Charizard for weakness. KOs Roaring Moon, because it hits Moon for weakness. It uh, KOs everything in Maridon deck. It KOs Chen Pao, so it's kind of good against a lot of the meta decks. Unfortunately, the damage does cap out at 230, so if you're playing against a deck like Goldengo, it's kind of an impossible matchup because you just take, you two shot them, Goldengo will one shot you because it's it's pretty easy for Goldengo to find, you know, six energy and knock you out. So there are some decks that this deck just isn't good against, but against your Charizards, your Chen Pals, your Maridons, and your Roaring Moons, this deck is very powerful. Lilligant V-Star also has the V-Star Power Star Perfume, which lets you search for any five grass and energy type. Well, a combination of grass Pokemon and grass energy, and you can pick five of them. And this synergizes really well with Gardenia's Vigor. So Gardenia's Vigor is a card that isn't the grass savior that people thought it would be. It doesn't see much play because you only draw two cards and who wants to be drawing two cards? But if you have two grass energy in your hand, you can attach two grass energy to one of your bench Pokemon. So the kind of strategy behind this deck is to use Star Perfume, then use Gardenia, attach two energy to your Lilligant V-Star with Gardenia and then manually attach and then you've got a Lilligant V-Star ready to go. And then basically the rest of the game, what you're gonna do is gonna be using the Scrovit Barrel Engine to cycle through the deck, keep finding your Gardenias, keep finding your energy, find your earthen vessels, and just try and keep this cycle going of powering up your Lilligant V-Stars over and over. And we play Power Pad to put Gardenia's Vigor back in the deck. And this deck does play four copies of Pokemon Catcher, no boss, no counter catcher, because I find that in most games, if you get God, if you get the Lilligant, sorry, set up, you just go ahead. So counter catcher doesn't really do anything. And we don't want to be playing boss because you're basically going to be Gardeniering Gardenia Eing, that doesn't make any sense. You're basically going to be using Gardenia's Vigor pretty much every turn. Or that's the aim anyway. So that's the idea behind the deck. Let's have a quick look at the deck list in its entirety. So we have a 4-4 line of Hisuian Lilligant V and Lilligant V Star. And the Dance Gracefully attack on a Hisuian Lilligant V is actually pretty good as well. You know, if you're in a very bad situation, you can use the attack for zero energy and draw until you have six cards in your hand, which isn't a bad attack. Uh, we've got one Radiant Greninja because we are playing a lot of energy, so we can get the energy in the discard and draw more cards. Gone for a 3-2 line of Bidoof Barrel just because Bidoof and Barrel are so crucial to this engine and, you know, to getting set up and getting the Gardenias and cycling through the deck. We have one Cyclozar just as a free retreat pivot, so we put that in the active whilst we charge up Hisuian Lilligan on the bench. Playing one copy of Squovit, probably there's an argument for playing more considering how, you know, crucial Squovit is to our engine, but I've just put one in there, feel free to change it. We've gone for four copies of Battle VIP, two Earthen Vessel, one Escape Rope, Four Nest Ball, one Power Pad, two Poke Gears, just to, again, increase our chances of hitting Gardenia. We've got four Pokemon Catchers, as I've already mentioned, two Super Odds, just because we do put energy in the discard with Greninja. And then when a Lilligant gets knocked out, you probably want to rod the energy back in, just to increase your chances of hitting energy and Gardenia in the same hand. And we've also got four Ultra Ball, two Beach Court, so we can retreat our basics if we don't have Cyclozar. And finally, we have one copy of Arvin, four Gardenia's Vigor, two Iono and 11 Grass Energy, which is a lot of energy, I know, but you just want to try and maximize your chances of hitting Gardenia and energy in the same turn. And also, you know, we have quite a costly attack, free energy. So if a couple of Lil Lilligans go down, that's, you know, a lot of energy that's going missing from the deck, and that makes it harder to do the Gardenia play. So I've put a lot of energy in the deck to kind of compensate for, you know, the, the fact that we just want to try and get Gardenia and energy basically every turn. So yeah, I've just finished playing with this deck today and yeah, it's very, very good against Charizard. Like, like this deck absolutely farms Zard. The only problem this deck has is that it's obviously very reliant on getting set up. Like if you don't find your VIPs and your Nest Balls and your Ultra Balls and you just have a bad opening, you might just lose. And even then, if you do have a good opening, if you don't find Gardenia and you don't have the energy in hand, you don't get the combination, it's quite tricky, and I mean, that that's basically the risk you take when your deck is centered on a draw card that only draws you two cards. So th this is why a lot of people just, just don't bother with Gardenia, because it, it's very risky. Now, you could play this with Arceus, because of course it's a V-Star card. Could power it up with Arceus. You could do it that way if you wanted, but I just wanted to make a, a deck that just focused on Lilligant V-Star as the main attacker, as the focus of the deck, because I've played this card before in Grass decks. I've played it in Spyder Dops, I've played it in Woshin. 
And it's always been used as like the support Pokemon. You use its ability to get other grass Pokemon out and you don't really attack with it. You don't really use a Sui, a Sui and Lilligant V-Star, you know, to knock stuff out. But I feel, you know, in the current meta, it's a really good attacker. Like I said, it KOs Zard, KOs Roaring Moon, and I just wanted Hisui and Lilligant V-Star to kind of be the star. Ugh, I know, cringe, corny, sorry. But I wanted it to kind of be the star, have its moment to shine, and just have a deck that was centered on this as the attacker. Because I, I like this Pokemon, and I wanted to give it a chance to, you know, have its own deck. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments below after you've watched the, the matches. Probably not now, because you don't... You don't know how it's going to play. What am I talking about? But anyway, do let me know uh, how you feel about this deck after you've actually watched it in action. And uh, enjoy the matches. Take care. Right, here we are playing some Lilligant V-Star Turbo. If you can call a deck that takes two turns to attack Turbo. You probably can't, but it's relatively fast for a Grass deck, okay? This is as Turbo as Grass gets, all right, in the format currently. So... Give, give, give me a break, okay? This is Grass's equivalent of Turbo. Uh, we do go first, which is what we want. This hand is not what we want, though. Jeez, oh my... What What do I do with this? Ugh, okay. we got to hope we get something off the Mulligan. Okay, Charizard is the ideal matchup, but this is just a dreadful hand. But that's fine, because even if... They can't KO Lilligan, so even if it takes me another turn to find Lilligan, it's got 200 HP, they can't KO it unless they are playing the Choice Belt. So, maybe we'll be alright. Maybe we can, you know, uh, take an extra turn to set up. It's not the end of the world. Okay, three mulligans. That helps massively. Alright, and we get the beach court. And we get the Lilligan. Not much else, though, but that is, that's fine. It's better than the hand I had. So, and look, I can Earthen Vessel into Gardenia next turn. Oh, it's just wonderful stuff. Alright, there we go. That's pretty good. So... Unless I get Iono'd turn one, which doesn't happen a lot with Charizard. Our hand's fairly decent. I can accelerate to Gardenia. With, uh, I can use the Vessel. Or I can just or I could use, use um, Lilligant's ability to grab more energy. But anyway, regardless, we're going to get a Lilligant V-Star set up next turn. If I don't get Iono'd first turn by Charmander, which doesn't normally happen. Although saying that, it did happen at my locals this week. I was playing against someone playing Charizard, and I was playing the Arc Picks deck, and I had the perfect hand to just set up and win the game. They Iono'd me first turn, which I did not expect from Charizard, and then I ended up with like four energy, a super odd, and a stadium. And I was like, great, I can't even play the game. So yeah, yeah, I played Arc Picks at my locals on Friday. I went for, I went two for two. The deck needs a bit of tweaking, but uh, yeah, I had some fun playing it. Um, I do, I have managed to get tickets for EUIC as well, so I will probably get thrashed every single game but that's going to be quite the experience but anyway we do get a litigant v star and i think it's fine to take a knockout on charizard anyway or is it because then they pidgeot one of my litigants on the bench they'll be knocking it out so perhaps i don't want to take the knockout right i don't need to hmm okay right right earth and vessel i maybe i don't use the ability just yet or i could pokemon catcher the pidgey but they're, they're playing yeah, this is strange. They're playing Babao and Pidgey. Okay. Hmm. All right, let's go for Gardenia. Let's get our Lilligant set up. One, two. And I don't, I don't think I want to attack. Hmm. Just because I'm worried about... Yeah, I'm just worried that any Lilligants I put on the bench, they're just going to Pidgey up. So perhaps I do have to... Uh, should I take this? Yeah, I've got Gardenia for next turn, haven't I? So I... I I'll grab this. I can probably find another Lilligant V-Star anyway. So one, two, three. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to try and take Pidgey out then, just so that stops them bossing me every turn. Okay, lovely. We do get the Pidgey KO. Of course, they could still find it. They, they could even have it in hand, but I think that's the best play. We bench you. So next turn, I can scrove it barrel. I can accelerate to this one with Gardenia, so this will be fully charged up next turn. Then I can Ultra Ball, scope it the barrel. So, yeah, this this is all good. The deck is working. This is how it's supposed to work. So we won't do the extra damage because we, we don't need to. We just keep the energy on Lilligant. And uh, let's see if they can get the return knockout. Another Gardenia. Not bad. I, I really should have checked the deck, actually. I didn't even check how many Gardenias I had. Well, I didn't check anything. I always forget to do that. I swear I, I do it in real life. I promise. But when I'm playing on here, I always forget. Okay, they're going into Charmeleon. So they might not even have Zard. They might just have a dead hand. Who knows? But yeah, as soon as they get up, if they, as soon as they get Zard, you know, we, we just knock it out anyway. Just want to get my Lilligant set up. 
before they start bossing ones on the bench and taking it out. Just a manual attachment. Okay, they must have a dreadful hand then. Maybe they... Oh, they do get a boss already. Oh, it's a bit barrel. That's fine. Okay. Well, it's a bit annoying because he, he's trapped in the active. I do play escape rope, so we can try and find it. Right, we'll go for a gardenia. I can... Uh, yep, we got like that. I can pal pad my guard gardenias back in the deck, which I think I will do. Just to increase our chances of finding gardenia. One, two... And then I'm going to Ultra Ball for a Scrovit the Barrel, and we're going to try and find our Escape Rope. So yeah, perhaps I should have put... No! Scrovit isn't in the deck. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Ugh. Um, Alright, maybe I'll just grab another Lit Litigant V-Star then. And then we will Industrious Incisors for two. Okay, Nest Ball. Should I put down our pivot? Yeah, I'll just put down Cyclozar, why not? And a pass. Yeah, so maybe maybe I need to put some more switch cards in the deck, I'm not sure. Yeah, getting the barrel trapped is very annoying, but it's fine. We're in really a good position because they can't KO our V-Stars. They can KO our Lilligant V if they find a choice belt, but uh, they've got two cards in hand, so I think we're fine. They can't even Ultra Ball for the barrel because they don't have enough cards, so... It's fine. Like, I have Iono in hand, but I, I really don't want to give them six cards. So I, I think I'll just leave it as it is. Um, not sure I want to waste a Gardenia, though, when I don't have any energy. I don't know. We'll see what comes of this Arvin anyway. So, what can they grab at this? Like, they can grab an Ultra Ball to get a Pokemon, but they can't use it. Oh, no, they do have one card in hand. So they can grab Ultra Ball, grab some other rubbish card that they don't want, and then get the Ultra Ball. So they're... they're it would make sense to go the barrel, right? They get the stones. If they if they want to use the stone, they're going to have to discard it. Or if they want to use the Ultra Ball, sorry, they're going to have to discard the stone. They might just wait until next turn. Nope, they are going to get rid of the stone. All right. And a Super Rod. That's pretty good. Pretty good for us. So, yeah, it makes sense to go the barrel because you need to draw cards. So, you don't want to be in top deck mode. They do have the barrel set up. So, let's see if they get the Charizard. But, yeah, this is a strange list playing both the barrel and Pidgeot. Another Pidgey. So yeah, not you don't see this every day. They get a nest ball, so... What? Reshiram? Oh my goodness. If Tails, it does nothing. Okay. Is there a Reshiram V star or, or V max, or is that it? I mean, we can KO it with Lilligan. It's in range. We can KO it. There's the Charizard. Okay. So are they going to promote Charizard, or are they going to wait? Because, I mean, I'm... I'm actually fine with them taking out Bibaro at this point because I can play Iono and I can get the response KO. Alright, going for Reshiram V. They might just pass and try and find... Yeah, they're, they're not attaching to Charmander, so I'm, guess, I'm guessing they're just going to try and find their boss. Or do they have boss or counter catcher in hand? They've got one card, so it must be a supporter in hand, I guess. Well, it, it might not be, but I'm assuming it is. It could be, you know, Rare Candy or something else. Right, we get a rope. Is that right? the right play? Yeah, I think it is, because then we go to four. We take something out, and then we go to four. And if they respond, then we go, you know, we go to two, and yeah, and then we go to zero. So I, I think this is fine. I think it doesn't really matter who we knock out. Yeah, I'll KO PG. Charizard still can't, can't KO us. Yes, they can take the knockout with Rashiram, but then we get the response KO anyway. Uh, I'm going to go for a barrel, then Iono, I think. All right, Ultra Ball, pretty good. That means I can grab my last uh, Lilligant V-Star. And uh, that means we're not going to get knocked out. Or, well, we're less likely to get knocked out. So, I really... I'm not going to play Gardenia when I have no energy. Because if we don't draw into energy, any energy, we can't use it. So, I'll play Iono. And I'll just manually attach. And then, you know, perhaps we can find a Gardenia to use next turn. Well, next turn, there you go. Well, there you go. Okay, we got, we got the Gardenia and Vestal next turn. So... This one's getting powered up as well, so so we're fine. We're fine. We are, we're pretty much in the perfect position. Like it would have been nice to have Scrovit as well, but we we can have all three Lilligans powered up next turn, and at that point, I I just don't think they they can do anything. They get the knockout here. That's fine. I return KO. We go to two. Then we just need a KO and Charizard. It gets a bit more complicated if they play Radzard, but we have enough Pokemon catches in the deck. Hopefully we can, you know, catcher up Charizard, and that's basically how we win the game. So, and we have only used one catcher. So yeah, I think we're we're fine. I think we're fine. So yeah, this is how I've designed the deck to work: just getting the energy, getting Gardenia, 
And when it works, you know, it, it feels great. Um, you know, Gardenia is a risky card because you only draw two cards, but, you know, in combination with the ability, in combination with Earth and Vessel, you can kind of, you know, consistently set up your, your Lilligant's well. At least you can in most matches, that's the idea anyway. Um, but yeah, this is a very weird Charizard list, but, you know, you can only beat what uh, what is in front of you, and I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Of course, they can still turn it around somehow, who knows, but uh, we've got enough Pokemon currently to see us through the game, so... Alright, yeah, they knocked me out. It's fine. I, I KO them in return. Okay, does that mean it can't attack anyway? It can't attack, but it doesn't matter. We're going we're gonna to knock it out. But yeah, what a, a weird choice. Reshiram V. Right, anyway, let's go for a Lilligant. So I will play Earthen Vessel. I don't even need to. There we go. Two energy straight away. And more energy. So we go one, one, two... I suppose I could start uh, putting energy on the barrel just in case they try to trap it. I'm going to go for a Nest Ball. I could go Greninja and then draw more cards with Vessel. Yeah, I think that's the play. I probably don't need this other Lilligan. I can probably get rid of it, actually. So, that'll... Yeah, okay, so I'll still be at three, so I, I can still draw the exact... Name. Oh, two. Okay, well, I can actually draw more cards with, with the barrel then, so that... That worked out a bit better. So we we'll go for Aber Barrel. We do have to be wary. We are running out of energy. But um, we do play two rods in the deck. So we should be fine. Hmm. Do I want to draw another card? A bit risky. Because I, I need it to... Hmm. Well, I get an energy back with this attack anyway. So if they trap the barrel... Oh, well, there we go. There's the rod. All right, okay. Let's put the energy back in the deck. So yeah, even if they, even if they had trapped the barrel... This attack puts the energy into my hand, so I can grab it anyway and get the barrel back. Uh, I might as well... I'll bench another Bidoof, just because I have the other barrel in hand. That could help us find our... Not Counter Catcher. Pokemon Catcher for next turn. And we get the knockout. So we are one KO away. One Charizard knockout away from beating Charizard with Lilligant V-Star. Uh, no Pokemon Catcher, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, we're in a good spot. I mean, that they knock me out. If if all they're going to do is just knock out my active, I win. All right, double Zard. Not that it really matters. Because we, we KO Zard regardless. So, you, you, I mean, you can fill your bench up with 10 Charizards. Well, you can't because that's not legal. But the point is, it doesn't matter how many Charizards they have. We are one Charizard KO away from winning. And we hit, we hit Charizard for weakness. So, it's fine. So, yeah, if all they're going to do is attack me, then I win. I, I don't know how they win this unless they play Radzard, but I, they, they, I don't think they do play Radzard, but I think that would be their only kind of option, would be kind of go Radiant Charizard, Iona Me, and try and get a knockout with Radzard on Lilligan, and then, yeah, hope I can't respond, I guess, I'm, I don't know, but I, I, yeah, I think we won. Alright, they're going to boss up my one with energy, it's fine, I've got an energy in hand, so that's fine, we've won the game. We win! Against Charizard with Lilligant V-Star. The most underrated grass Pokemon in the format right now. According to no one except me. It's pretty good. It's good against, like I said, it's good against, Char like I said in the intro, it's good against Charizard. Good against Moon. Good against Maridon. Good against Chen Pao. It just struggles against Pokemon with high HP. Like, if you're going against Gold Goldengo with this deck, don't even bother. Just, just quit. You can't knock out Goldengo. It takes you two turns to knock out Goldengo, and they just knocked you out. But Charizard is the ideal matchup, so we have won the game, so we just promote you. And then I grab my basic energy. Attach return, oh, there's a catcher. And we go for a parallel spin. Uh, yes, we do the extra damage. Imagine if I press no and we lost. Uh, extra damage, and we get the win against Charizard. That's how you beat Charizard with Lilligant V-Star. Yes, a very weird Charizard list playing Reshiram V. And there's my Squovit, but uh, that's the idea behind it. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can match any more Zards, or preferably I'd like to play against Power Maridon. That would be pretty good with this deck. Okay, they're going first, so perhaps it isn't Moon. Or maybe they're just going first to try and get set up. What is this hand? What is this hand? I can dance gracefully, I suppose. Yeah, it's Moon. I'm, I'm surprised they're going first, though. Oh, this is... What are the chances of this? No free of my Pokemon, no ball search, nothing. What is this? Alright, please, come on, Mulligan. Beach Court, just what I wanted. <laughs> we get Roaring Moon, what I wanted, and we get, like, the worst setup I've ever seen. Hmm. 
We could KO a moon with Leaf Step if we get set up. If we had had a, if they just have moon, we rope into moon, beach port, get the energy and Lilligant, we can KO moon. But that's the, I don't think we're going to get there because uh, this is an awful start. So, like, I want to draw more cards with Dance gracefully, but if my Lilligant is knocked out, it's basically game over. They're going for a rope straight away. That's a bit strange. Uh, they're trying to clear their their hands for Squawkabilly, and they're getting Moon into the active. Okay. Wow, they get rid of Dark Patch and Sada. Okay. They obviously just want to get a good setup then. Sacrificing those cards. They go, what? They what? They go Dark Rye? Do they have Squawk in hand then? What? What is this mystery card? This must be a good card then for them to get rid of Sada and it must be another supporter, right? I don't know, that's strange. So th th what do I do? I, I can't do anything in this situation. I just have to... I could rope, dance gracefully, draw some more cards, but then th they KO, they win. They win the game. Wh how much would I be able to draw anyway? If I play rope, I only get an extra one card. Is it even worth it? Uh, but then I, next turn I attach manually and I lose because I can't get powered up quick enough. I have to go rope and just hope they can't knock me out. Can't play beach court because then they'll get back in the active. Alright, they, they, more, they more than likely got an energy or got a way of getting back in the active, but I had to do it. Okay, that means we can draw some more cards at least. If we... Do, well, even if we get knocked out we can draw some more cards, but... Um, Oh, they had energy in hand, so they could draw some more. They could have just... Oh, no, if they attached retreated, they wouldn't be able to power up Moon. Okay. So, yeah, so, yeah, they... they That's not... That wasn't... That that was actually an okay play, to be honest, because they need an energy on Greninja. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, my hand was dead. It kind of helps us out. Well, I, I didn't want them to, I don't know. Oh, my goodness. I trade one bad hand for another bad hand. Uh, why? Okay. And now I don't really, I don't, yeah, I, yeah, this is dreadful. Dreadful. This is the matchup I want, and you've, you, why is my setup so bad? Alright, they get Dark Rye V-Star, so they can recover their Dark Patches. Um, have they got, they've got a couple in the discard, but it's whether they can get Greninja out of the active this turn. So, so they won't be using Forest Hill Stone, because they're using their V-Star power, so... It depends what other card they have. They have in their hand. Is it is it a switch card? It's a rope. Okay. That's a, yeah. That's a, that's a not great. Oh come on, come on. All right. I got no way of powering up Lilligant. I need it on the bench. Hmm. What on earth do I do? Probably have to beach court retreat then. Why couldn't I draw into a gardenia? I think we have to go for a squovit play. Yeah, we have to go for the squovit and just hope that we get one, we get a support and get something. Get support that isn't gardenia. All right, here we go. Nest dash for one. Cyclozar. That's not bad. I can draw into. I can go into Cyclozar, waste a turn, and then pass. But yeah, we can't even nest dash next turn because uh, they and they're probably going to get rid of Beach Court as well, which means I can't then, you know, retreat. I can't uh, retreat Squovit or Bidoof without getting rid of an energy. They, yeah, they will get rid of the Stadium. Yeah. Okay. Hmm, what on earth do I do? This is the problem when, like, your only supporter is basically Gardenia. That this this does happen. Oh, yes, come off the hour. But now I can't use Nest Dash. But we at least we can get some stuff benched and get some energy. Whoa, 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 whoa! Too many. One, two, three. Okay, right. We might we might have a chance. Because then next turn. I attach to Lilligant and we're ready to go. We get the knockout. This isn't how I expected to be powering up Lilligant, to be honest. Uh, you're going manually, but we might, 
yeah, we can get the knockout on Moon, and they haven't got any other attackers, so... We might just be able to turn this around, despite having a horrendous start. Get rid of a rod. Because I still don't, I haven't got another Moon yet, either. Have they got one in hand, though? Going for a Vessel. Okay, they're, they're just clearing their deck by the looks of it. Hmm... All right, attaching to you. So this is probably the energy switch build then, perhaps, because they're attaching to Moltres. I haven't seen an energy switch actually, though, so maybe not. Who knows? But yeah, they don't have another moon down, which is good. So if we, we KO this moon next turn, if if they take the bait, if they take the knockout, that is, they might just not do it. What does this do? 30 for each energy. So that's doing... 30 plus 30, 90, 180. Well, it will lose free energy when I knock out this moon. They, yeah, they might just not even go for it. They might just leave Bidoof, which is actually not a bad play because then I just go into Lilligant. Probably, it's probably not worth them taking the knockout, to be honest. I don't think they are going to take the knockout. No, they're they're just retreating. Okay, going into... Mm, all right, fair enough. Right, do, are they getting ready for a water energy play, or are they just scared? I don't know. Yeah, I definitely do not want to be taking out Radiant Greninja then. That's just suicide. Well, they have only got one energy. Ooh, that was a good squovit. Okay, let's go for a barrel. We are stuck in the active now, but at least we can draw some cards. Yeah, he's not happy with that. Mm, not a great uh, barrel, if I'm honest. All right, that's Finn. Get another one set up because we have a second the barrel. Go for a pokey gear, Gardenia, but we don't have any energy. Um, I might just pass. Yeah, I'll pass because I, I could draw into energy next turn with the barrel, but um, I do need my rope, uh, which is gone. So yeah, we are gonna have to. Manually attach then to the barrel in that case to get the barrel to get this chunky boy out of the active Because I only stupidly play one rope so or one switching card and they get another moon down That's gonna make things more difficult for us now. If they get that set up Hmm And they get Sada. All right. Yeah, I think I don't think it's looking too good if I'm honest It's the ideal matchup and we just have completely bricked Completely bricked, but yeah, this is what happens when you just play Gardenia. Uh, I mean, we have a couple of other supporters, but that's the that's the risk you take playing Gardenia because you only draw two cards with it. I mean, I can squove it for barrel next turn, but yeah, I still need to putting that for barrel in the active is yeah, just kind of killed me. Right, what are they doing? Are they going to attack me then? They are. They're going to take out the barrel. Okay. All right. So I. I need to catch a Moon, because Moon is the only thing that can one-hit KO Lilligant. So I need to try and get knock out Moons, really. I mean, the rest of the, the other Pokemon, I can take a hit with all these other Pokemon. Oh, well, look look at that. We get Catcher from the top deck. Yes, so we take out the Moon with two energy. That's the biggest threat on the board at the moment. I'll go for the Barrel. I won't use Gardenia. I'm going to scroll it the Barrel, try and draw into some energy. And try and get one of these ones powered up on the bench. VIP, the worst card I could possibly get. What else do we get? Ugh. Okay, how many um, Gardenias have I used? None? Oh yeah, of course I haven't. I've completely bricked this game. Okay, well, no use. No point using Poke Gear then. No, 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 no point using um, Power Pad. Oh my goodness, there goes, there goes my phone. There goes my Pokemon deck on the floor. Right, anyway, Arvin... Guess I'll grab another Pokemon catcher for next turn then. And we'll just get a knockout. And hopefully we get two good prizes. Alright. Uh, um, yeah, well, right. Four and five. Six and five. Can't even read numbers. Alright. Energy. Not bad. Drop in my Arc Picks deck on the floor. Actually, I played that in um, locals on Friday. Went for two for two. Didn't do that well, considering I had three Charizard matchups and I only won one. Just couldn't get up the, the Arpix lock set up. Arpix, Volpix lock set up. But um, yeah, I, it's, it's just a deck I like playing. Um, 
Right, so can Darkrai, are they in a position to knock me out? 30 plus 30, okay. So, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240. Okay, they are one energy short. One energy short. I think, if my maths is right. Oh, yes, okay. So I might, I just, I guess I just KO Darkrai in that case. That's probably the play. Just KO Darkrai, right? Or KO the Mulchers with all the energy. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I, I need to find Gardenia. I need to find Gardenia. I can't believe we've gone all game and we haven't used a Gardenia. So we put Greninja down. Just so we can draw some more cards. I won't do it yet. I'll do it potentially after a Nest Dash. Right, energy. Okay. Come on. Where are you, Gardenia? There you are. Finally. First Gardenia of the game. Uh, brilliant. Okay, so that means we get another Lilligant ready to go. So, that's probably what I want to... Mm, okay, I can't because I've already attached return. That's fine. But I get, I'll get my energy back from this attack anyway. So, we'll go Parallel Spin. I get the energy in hand. We have another one ready to go next turn. So, we might have just turned this around despite an absolutely horrendous start. So, another two prizes. Gardenia off the prizes. Okay, there's there's a Gardenia that there. Must have prized a couple then, that's why I've struggled finding them. Alright, so if they're just attacked with Moltres and they don't Iona me, or Roxanne me, I, I don't really don't think Moon plays Roxanne, but as long as they we keep our hand, we've won. Because then we just go into Lilligant V-Star, get the KO on Moltres. Or whatever, whatever's in the active we can knock out at this, at this point. So yeah, somehow turned it around just because of you know the weakness factor. They got a bit unlucky, one energy short for the Dark Rye V-Star attack. Um, but yeah, okay, we won. We beat Moon. We beat Moon despite a, a horrendous start. So, somehow turned it around. Right, okay, so we'll promote you. And we will attach. And then we go get the knockout. Goodbye. So yeah, very good against Roaring Moon this deck. And I mean, even despite that bad... Horrendous start. We still turned it around just because, uh, yeah, Roaring Moon does not like grass Pokemon. All right, another game with a Lilligant V Star. I don't know why I said it like that. Anyway, all right, we're gonna go Tails because I've been on a bit of a, a run with Tails today. Yeah, we do Tails. All right, okay. I'm I'm never picking heads again. Tails Tails seems to work now. I always used to pick heads, but today Tails has been working. So we go first. And nope, no basics. No basics. Double rod, no basic. Okay. Well, we haven't given them any indication as to what we're playing. So, I mean, not that not that they would probably know what to expect anyway if they saw Lilligan. That would probably just confuse them even more. So, yeah. Well, let's hope we don't play Lost Box because that is the worst deck for us. Or Lost, I think Lost Box and Lost Box Goldengo are just horrible matchups and. Dialga is an awful matchup because they are resistant to grass. Okay, uh, Greninja has to be in the deck, otherwise we basically lose. Yeah, maybe I need to cut down the energy, but I feel like you need a lot of energy so that Gardenia works, so that you always have energy. But I do seem to get quite a lot of these hands where it's just like too much energy. Well, all right, another Charizard. Sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. Okay, Lilligant V-Star, that, that helps a bit. Okay, thank God Greninja is in the deck, otherwise we could not do anything. Right, I might Greninja first, then I'll Nest Ball for whatever I don't get, which is a lot. Okay, so we go Lilligant. I will attach to Lilligant, and then Radiant Greninja next turn. So I could use my V-Star power next turn, draw more stuff out of the deck, increase the odds of hitting something with Greninja, that might be to play. Um, but yeah, against Charizard, we it's okay. Like Our deck sometimes takes a bit of time to set up. Don't get the best opening hands, but uh, it's okay. We have time against Charizard anyway. And, you know, sometimes it's better not to take the first knockout against Charizard anyway. So it's, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Going for a worker. Okay, they must be worried about part of the peak. You don't normally see worker in, in Zard. Or at least I don't think you do anyway. I... I haven't, I haven't played much Zard myself, but uh, yeah, I'm... What? League HQ in Charizard? Okay. The 
must be scared of the moon matchup then, I guess. That's a bit strange. Okay, we go for a Lilligant V-Star. I don't want to use... I don't want to do this because I want Gardenia in hand to do it, but I also want to make sure that I get something from Greninja. So we'll go like that. Five energy. We've, we've finned a lot, so please can we hit something from Greninja. I own oh no, not what I want. Um, I might just pass. Yeah, I think I'm going to just pass and hope that they don't play um, Choice Belt and knock out one of my Lilligant Vs. So I, I can get V-Star set up next turn. Oh, they I own a me anyway. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Our energy being at the bottom is a pain. Oh my goodness. What is this hand? Okay, I, I have to Gardenia with no energy then, basically. Ugh. Yeah, and all my energy is at the bottom. Hmm. Okay. Well, not great. And... Uh, Bidoof is stuck in the active for another turn. So, yep, Gardenia for zero. <laughs> Ultra Ball. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I need the barrel, but then the barrel gets stuck. Yeah, I haven't been Squove it, actually. That was a bit silly. Hmm. I don't want a Gardenia and get nothing. I'm just going to have to go for it. We didn't, we didn't get it. Well, we got the barrel. I could just get rid of Gardenia and just pal pad it back in that might be the play pal pad it back in I can't believe I've got uh, three catches in hand all right then we'll go for a bit barrel what god okay <laughs> Oh my goodness. I, I might just have to like waste my catches just to draw stuff. Oh yeah, I might just have to use just Pokemon Catcher over and over just to thin the hand. So yeah, I, I kind of messed up not putting Squovit on the field. Uh, because unfortunately we've just got junk that we can't get rid of now. And uh, they probably are going to go Pidgeot then in that case. Or they get rid of a rope. That's probably their only switch item though. So yeah, they probably go Pidgeot. And if they have Choice Belt, then my Lilligant V is getting knocked out. And I still need an energy. And I can't draw into an energy because they're going to take out my draw engine. So we are officially in top deck mode against Charizard, against our favoured matchup. Uh, the Iono kind of just wrecked us, really. But then I suppose that's what happens when I play a deck that has four Pokemon catches. And I draw into every single one, more or less. Well, I draw into three of them. And I didn't bench squove it. So I, I guess I've got only myself to blame for the current predicament that we are in. Um, you know, I could promote Lilligant V, actually, and, what, they're just, okay, they go Charizard. Um, yeah, I could promote Lil Lilligant V, draw one card, maybe, um, oh no, I'll go Cyclozar, because it gets free retreat anyway, doesn't it, so. Yeah, but I, I, we do need a knockout, though, next turn, we can't afford to go too far behind. Hmm. Oh, of course, they had boss, all right. Well, we keep our draw engine at least. Um, are they going to take out the one? They're going to go for the 200 HP one, maybe. They have boss, but their hand is dead. Oh no, they can draw. They can draw a Mew actually. Get some. Get some more cards. What are you picking? You, they probably. I would have taken out the barrel if I was them. To be honest. I mean, unfortunately, I can't really use the barrel because my hand is dead. All right, they go for a 260 HP one. Okay. So if I get two energy, attach one to the active, Gardenia onto the bench. Hmm. It's still, yeah, I I might just have to waste catches. All right, okay, at least we can thin a bit. That's good. Get rid of you two. Grab you. Yeah, you know what? I might have to catch a Mew. Just because I'm not confident from, you know, that I'm going to draw something from the barrel so I'm, I'm probably just gonna have to waste my pokemon catches i'm not confident drawing something with two oh. please don't <sighs> all right well we draw more cards there, there's three catches down the drain hmm pokey gear oh, i oh no don't want i oh no i need a 
Gardenia, where are you, Gardenia? Okay, all right, we somehow we we get the knockout. So we go to Gardenia onto the bench, put one on the active. Somehow we do get the KO, but uh, God, we did have to work for it. Okay, one on you. Do I bench four? Do I bench four? Yeah, I will attach four because I put one into my hand anyway. So that means Gardenia can just attack again next turn. All right, then we retreat into Lilligant V-Star. And then we go like this. Yes. So this this V-Star is ready to go again next turn. We get the KO on Zarden again next turn. They can't knock us out unless they play Defiance Band or Choice Belt. And uh, despite the horrendous start to this match, we're actually not in that bad a position somehow. And I have Nest Ball, so if something gets knocked out, I can go for a Squovit play. Start cycling through the cards. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. I, mean, I, I can't believe we lost all three catches. Are they just going to go for genome hacking? No. No, they're, they're thinning. They can attack me genome hacking, but it's fine. They won't knock me out. They're only doing 230. And the Pokemon League HQ actually messes them up. They can't even attack. Yeah. All right. I don't want to get the next KO because then Charizard does 270. Right. Come on. Catcher number four, please. I can't have four catchers fail. What? Four catchers. Oh, just what? 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 Yeah, all right. Laugh it up, pal. Laugh it up. Why am I, why am I giving you a thumbs up? Laugh it up, pal. We'll see who's laughing when I win. All right. Um, I don't want to... I don't want to get a knockout. Charizard does 270. How, like, what are the chances of having four Pokemon catchers fail in, in one match? All right, go for a Gardenia. One, two... Attach. Pass to you. I'm not. I'm not attacking. I'm not attacking. Or maybe I do just attack. Maybe they, they just don't. They might not have anything. If I go to three, they go to four. I go to one, they go to two. I could still win, but it's whether they get Rad Zard at the end. You know, if they have two prizes left, they get Radiant Zard. Okay, they've bricked. Or are they just? Is this a poker face? Are you? Are you trying to make me knock you out? I don't know, man. I don't... I'm not sure. I'm not sure I trust you. Oh, now they might get Rad Radzard. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what to do. It's... I, I shouldn't get a knockout. I, I know I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I'm going to regret this. I know I'm going to regret this. I bet he, they've got Charizard in hand. Oh, no, but they wouldn't want to sacrifice Pidgey, though, would they? They, they would want their Pidgey ops. And maybe they have just bricked. Hmm, I don't know. But yeah, losing, our, I can't believe, four catches in one game. What are the chances? What? Okay, they are going for an attack with Mew then. All right, well, yeah, I think in that case we've won. They they just they just bricked big time. So we get we get the knockout. Even if they get Charizard in, it doesn't matter. I, I just win. Even though they get Radzard, we can knock out Radzard. All right, another Gardenia. No energy, though. Uh, so we'll just go like this. Yes, extra damage. Knock you out. So yeah, somehow despite not the best start and despite getting our hand clogged up and despite me being a, an idiot and forgetting to play Scrovit, we are 6-1. We are winning by five prizes. So yeah, this, de this deck is just really good against Charizard. Really good against Charizard. Unfortunately, I haven't played any Pal or any Maridon today because those would be good matches as well because, you know, you, you hit for... Uh, you hit, you destroy everything in the Maridon deck, and you hit 230, which KOs Chen Pao. But, unfortunately, haven't played against any of them today. It's just been mostly Zard, which, you know, is good because it is a matchup we can win. But, uh, yeah, it's been mostly Charizard today. Right, they're going for an Arvin. Probably Rare Candy Charizard in that case then. But it doesn't matter. There's no... They can't win the game at this point. Like, it, it, it's over, pal. It's over. That's what you get for laughing at my misfortune. Laughing at my... My four Pokemon catcher fail. You can't win. You can't win, mate. Devolution. Mm, no, Devolution only KOs one. So just yeah, Devolution doesn't do anything. And then I just get the cards back in my hand anyway. They're getting rid of a rare candy. Okay, they could go Radzard just to get a KO, I suppose. I mean, they could KO me with Heat Tackle, actually, if they have an NG. Luminion, why not? Well, actually, why? No, not why not, just why? Because you've used your supporter. Like, 
All right, de-evolve me. That's fine. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. And yet, I, you've used your support for turn. I'm gonna win next turn. What? I, okay. I don't know. You're just wasting my time now, man. Come on. You, you can't win unless, unless you're playing two supporters this turn. You can't. You can't win. You've, I'm sure they played Arvin, or did they discard Arvin? I don't know. I don't think it matters anyway because I've got Lilligant Beast on the bench. All right. What, what was the point? What what, what 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 was that turn about? Why? I I I, I don't know. Uh, well, we will get the win, and uh, yeah, that was bizarre. And that is Lilligant V Star in action. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there. I do get the thumbs up. All right, yep. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, we get the win. Uh, the deck is very good against Charizard, as hopefully you've seen in this video. The deck list could probably use a bit of tweaking, like it is prone to bricking, and that's the risk you play, that's the risk you take rather, when you're playing a deck that has four Gardenia, and your main supporter is only drawing two cards, so that that's the risk you take with the deck, but, um, you know, maybe you can change the deck yourself and, you know, make a few changes and potentially fix it, um, obviously, playing Pokemon Catcher is a bit of a meme, but because we're playing Gardenia every turn, I wanted to play Catcher. But feel free to change the deck and, you know, maybe make it a bit better and perhaps add a single prize grass attacker. I think that could help, you know, certain matchups a lot if you play a single single prize grass attacker. But yeah, this deck is really fun and uh, it beats Zard. It's very good against Charizard. And like I said, it's good against Pal and Maridon and other kind of, you know, like lower, lower HP EX and V Pokemon. And uh, I think Lilligan is an interesting Pokemon. I think it's kind of overlooked. I think it's an interesting Pokemon, and hopefully I've kind of demonstrated the power of the deck today. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Also, thank you for getting me to over 100 subscribers in like record time, really, because like, yeah, I can't believe I've got over 100 subs in like three, four weeks, which is kind of insane because like this isn't my first attempt at YouTube. I did have an old YouTube channel years ago, and it took me like two years on that channel to get 100 subscribers. I mean, to be fair, I didn't know what I was doing back then. But what I'm saying is I really appreciate like how quick my channel has grown and how many views my like videos are getting. It's kind of blowing my mind. So I do really appreciate it. And yeah, hopefully, you know, the channel can continue to grow and I'll continue playing all kinds of weird decks. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.